Well, hello there, people with internet, and hello again. I am DB Multi. Welcome to part 39 of my Rome Tots of War campaign as Parthia. In the previous episodes, uh, we were busy. We fought our first battles with uh, war elephants in the previous episode because we destroyed a full. Well, it was the full stack. I, oh, well, it, we, we destroyed a large army, <laughs> at least, of uh, the Skippii here. And then we took uh, Kirta and we also conquered Kaidonia with this army and so we were uh, using war elephants for the first time then Macedon we had a ceasefire with Macedon the Romans declared war on had already declared war on Macedon and the Macedonians decided yeah we're well, going to declare war on Parthia anyway which is uh, absolutely stupid but okay I decided to punish them by conquering Cap uh, Campus Getai and now they have this army on the way probably but that's nothing that we can't handle over here. And yeah, furthermore, we've I, uh, uh, I believe also Numidia died in the previous episodes. And yeah. Yeah, you look at this. Macedon at war with all the Romans, and then they decide to go at war with me too. So, like, it's the Romans, Macedon and me, like the three... Well, I, you know, I, I count all the Romans as one. You know, so like the three largest factions, the Romans, Macedon and me, and we're all at war with each other instead of being smart and, you know, two ganging up on one or whatever. No, 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 we uh, we don't do that here. We all declare war on each other for some strange reason. And it's not like, oh shit, these other guys are way too strong. Hey, I know we kind of hate each other, but we both have the same enemy. So shall we work together to get rid of them? Which would, first of all, be super smart. And second of all, would be natural. Like that would normally happen in real life. But in this game, it doesn't happen. It's like, oh yeah, fuck the player. There we go. But it doesn't. it isn't going to help them though, because I'm still going to win, of course. I mean, look at how fucking much I already have. And I started with just those two and those uh, those three uh, backwater villages. Alright, uh, this army is... Yeah, we're going to kill them because it's way too scary to have them walking around here. Then this army is besieging Nepte. And I'm hoping for a draw. That's why I moved the rest of the army there. Yeah, the fucking Spanish have moved a huge army here, so I really hope that... Yeah, also, by the way, of course, Spanish is a very weird name for this faction. Iberians would be much better, but whatever. I'll just call them Spanish because the game calls them that. Um, but yeah, they just moved this army here. Which doesn't make any sense, and I really hope that they are not going to declare war on me. Because that's just going to be annoying... And not really scary. So yeah, we are chasing the Brutia, uh, Scipii all the way to Tingi. Here. Yeah, this army is of course taking Nepte. And then they're moving over to, I believe, the, uh, is this Dimidi? Yeah, that's Dimidi. And this army is also coming towards Dimidi. But then we also... Here we go. We also have this army. Our latest army. But we are... I wanted to move them to Lilibaum, but they have the plague here, so let's not do that yet. Let's wait until that plague is over. But this army is going to press the attack straight away and we're going to conquer Sicily. While, even while they don't... even while they still have some stuff in uh, Africa. And then all my armies here. I'm just waiting a bit until they can train and retrain some things. And then I'm going to drop them here. And we're going to conquer Sparta, Corinth... Um, Athens, and we're going to attack the Macedonians from this side, and then also the Brutii. And this army over here is going to attack from the north. Okay, so the garrison here is good enough. Oh, there's a Dacian assassin there. Yeah, we are neutral with the Dacians. All right, there's still some building need to do that I need to do apparently. This city leveled up, so well, let's get a temple in there first. I was about to say let's replace some barbarian building. Oh yeah, and I also got the plague. Out of all settlements, it happens to be Campus Alani, the only settlement that I've been waiting ages for. 
before it grows. <laughs> you, know, you know, all the other sediment, they grow quite nicely and shit. And this is the only sediment that just takes ages to grow. And then, like, I'm slowly getting near 6,000 and then they get the plague out of everyone. <laughs> okay, build up that scriptorium. More law, less corruption. The Everything here is being built. Building, building, building. Buster can't expand yet either, but we're getting very close. Yeah, okay. So... Maybe it is also time... ...to start training another army. So I'll get some elephants from there. Uh, not real any point not any point to doing anything over there what kind of recruit here not anything appropriate My lead. where's this guy going I, I he was gonna be excuse me the governor of Jerusalem March. okay is there anyone coming of age soon? Two years, nine, zero. Oh, they both have the same name. Okay. Xerxes of Uf of Urfa and Valmisa of Urfa. That is, yeah, that is him. Yeah, okay. Eight. Okay, there we go. Talis of Susa. He seems to be uh, coming of age soon. This guy is 51, but he still doesn't have a wife. Where are you? Oh, that's him. Okay. He's a good general, though. He's got a crap ton of influence as well. Okay. Okay, she is 13, so she can get married. So maybe we get some one of those events where you can select a husband. Or this guy was just born. Okay, so... And then there are two women here that, had, that are 24 and 27 and don't have a husband yet either. So... Utana. Oh, they're both named. They both have the exact same name. Okay. <laughs> so the earliest person that's gonna come of age. Yeah, Xerxes of Ufa is pretty fucking badass. Yeah, Xerxes and then this guy. He died in battle. Yeah, this is the faction leader that we started out with. The mighty died peacefully. He's 61, so he won't last too much longer either. And then this Bahar is going to be the next factionaire. Although, just like with the Parthia campaign in Vroomsi, we kind of want that Xerxes to be the faction leader. Whoops, okay. Alright, well, let's fight this really quickly, because I want to get rid of the Skippy Eye. We just have to be a little bit careful of the Scorpions and the uh, Light Auxilia. Um, the Cavalry. I keep saying Light Auxilia, but I mean Cavalry Auxilia. Light Auxilia is the same unit, but without the horse. Oh, whoops. Get the facts. Oh, they... Oh, they took a defensive position over there. <laughs> the genuine between the two get the facts. 
So yeah, it's nothing super dangerous, but we just have to get rid of this, because otherwise they're just going to run around and besiege uh, things all the time. So yeah, we just have to be a bit mindful of these things. Because they can do a lot of damage. Same with the Cavalry Auxilia, but we've got way longer range than they do. Where are you shooting us? I don't know. Oh, here, they were getting some time watch or something. Uh, the general is with the cavalry auxilia. That sucks. Okay, they're not really moving. <laughs> They're not really moving. Units forward! <laughs> and they're pushing their scorpions about. They were destroying a lot of infantry, but I kind of want to focus on the... Yeah, these guys. Back, back, back. Okay, they stopped. Open fire. Slowly move up the cataphracts. <laughs> there we go. Taking out the threat. Not really a threat, but you know, they're the only ones that can really do any like major damage on me. But in no way did I have enough ammo to kill us all to be an actual threat, you know? <laughs> We're being shot, so that must be the scorpion. Or some friendly fire, of course. Okay, these cavalry auxilia are pretty much dead. The Sastati are going to regret charging at my uh, Persian cavalry. Fourteen remain. Also, by the way, these guys can train proper legionnaires for a very long time already, so this just goes to show how large their army is, that I'm still fighting Hastati and shit. You know, because they've been able to... They haven't been able to train any new Hastati for ages. And I'm still fighting those things, so, you know... It just goes to show how large their army really was. Okay, forwards. <laughs> it's like when I get too close for their liking, they just start charging at me. There we go. There's still 11 of those light auxilia left. I, I can't say that again. Cavalry auxilia. Fucking hell. Fifteen of the general there. 
Okay, the scorpion is shooting at the cataphracts because I just lost the cataphracts over there. Oh, the manatees are trying to shoot at me. Okay, we just have the general left. Just run around a bit like this. <laughs> Don't know what unit that was, but it is dead. <laughs> Okay, if you're there, just going to go like this. There we go, not a problem. I'm getting rid of Aquates. Oh, there goes the general. <laughs> There we go, those Light Auxiliary are dead. Oh, they're out of ammo. Cataphracts! There we go! Wipe them out! Alright, well, yes, yeah, I was about to say, that should easily be over 85. There we go, get rid of the scorpions. There we go. He lies in your grasp, and there is nothing the enemy can do but run. Okay, there we go. That just cleans up the area here a bit Victory! from Skippy Eye presence. Okay, now you are on your way to there, but I can't attack because it's too far away. Move out. Anyway, just get going. I, great lord. Oh yeah, there's also an eagle cohort. I th I thought I saw another. I can't really see where it is now. Ships ready. Make ready for combat. We are supreme. Hi, my lord. Out of moves, sire. Okay, this is okay, but um, why is there one elephant there? Is that for this army? Mighty general. Sire. Must be. March. I'll send it over. There we go, that keeps the population under control. Yeah, I don't really see which other army. There's, there isn't any other army here except for this one, but this they already have an elephant from Antioch. So yeah, I'll send an elephant to join this guy, and then you know if Dimity still has that wooden wall, we can assault it straight away. There's no point in sending it to this guy because it takes three turns to, and then they'll have to surrender. So you know, it like that that I'll be. They won't get there in time. Mighty General. Assassin ready. Oh yeah, I've already assassinated the fucking diplomat that bribed Leptis Magna last time. Who's depleted, sir? So, unless they start landing more troops here, there's nothing that Mastodon can do. Of course they want Leptis Magna, because it holds three legionary eagles. Because I've captured five, three are in Leptis Magna. And then two are at Thapsus. Because I conquered one in Thapsus, then I conquered two more when... Uh... Yeah, yeah. Oh, or, oh uh, anyway, I believe, I can't really remember where I captured all of them. I remember I caught two when I captured Carthage and those two were moved to Thapsus, but... I believe that there are three at Leptis Magna. 
Because one, I conquered one when I conquered Thapsus. Maybe they bribed it for a second. And that's why... Yeah, that, that might have been it. I think they bribed it somehow at some point. And then I conquered two more eagles. And they were... Because this was bribed, they were moved to Leptus Magna instead. Then I conquered it back. And then I defeated two more eagles at Carthage, which were moved to Thapsus. It's so annoying that you can't see how many eagles you've conquered or where they are. The only reason you can see it is if you... Uh... Oh, that's the other general. I know. Yeah, there he is. Here, eagle taken. That's the only reason I know, like, oh, this I have an eagle at some point. Because one of my generals has this trait. Which you can only get once you conquer an eagle of Rome, of course. Here, this guy's also an eagle taker. So you see, but by this, I know that I have at least two, you know, but there's no, at least not to my knowledge. If it's if there is, then it is very well hidden. But yeah, to my knowledge, there is no screen that tells you how many eagles you have and where they are located. You just get a message once you get one where it is moved, and then you just have to remember it because the city does not have any like special status or whatever. Or so that kind of sucks that it doesn't tell you where those eagles are being kept. Because you have to just remind, you just have to remember it all the time. But anyway, enough of that. You yeah, just hope that Spain doesn't do anything. They should, perhaps, they they might sally out. And then I don't really have anything else to do because I need to wait here. I, great Lord. Yeah, you're building ships. I need to wait here until they have. Yeah, they train one extra cataphract. And then I'll build one extra boat, then I can move them. Sire. And then we'll assault Sparta. Okay, they didn't sally out, that sucks. Move you, excuse me, one further away. Maybe that'll work. Yeah. The Macedonians keep trying to get a peace treaty with the uh, Romans, but of course, as long as you're at war with one Roman, all the other Roman families will declare war on you. So even if they manage to get a peace treaty with the Julii or whatever, then the Julii will declare war in the next turn because he, they're still at war with the Brutii and the Scipii and all that stuff. Oh, you, you were just... You really think you? I'm just going to allow you to bypass me like that, huh? Alright, so I'll check that in a second. First, I'll check these messages. Yeah, he's got some great audacity to, to have the fucking balls to like, Oh yeah, I'm just going to completely ignore you and attack this tiny fort for some reason. Because I've just want to be annoying. Alright, so lots of buildings. Very good. Cities that expand. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again, this one. And Damascus as well. Okay. Yeah, Campus Alani is still plagued by the plague. Alright, let's do the building and stuff first. Arsakia, secret police headquarters. Less corruption and more public order. Seleucia. Awesome temple, because the biggest reason why you're okay is because of the influence of this governor. Bostra will probably happen in the next turn. Yeah, next turn or the turn after that, but perhaps... I'm pretty sure next turn. You can't build anything, no. You can't build anything either, we just need to wait for... I kill to please you. My liege. Sire! Mighty general, move out. No more moves, sire. Orders, forward. I'll just... There we go, I'll just move you like that. Joining forces. Moves depleted, mighty lord. Moves depleted, mighty lord. Onward. I, great lord. Nice. Right, back to the harbor of Carthage. And give me an extra boat. Ah, the plague is done here, so I can drop them there if I want to. Ships ready. 
Bane is still standing here, not really doing anything. There's a assassin from the Skippy Eye. Mighty General. Right. March. Sire. There we go. Train two archers. And then the garrison is going to be totally okay. Right, in the next turn we can retrain everything, so we'll just wait two more turns until that is done. Okay, in theory, yeah, I, I think I moved this guy too close, and I, I have to move him here. Because the, the what the AI, well, I, I'll explain, if, if it actually works that way, then I'll explain it in the next, in the end turn, because in theory they should attack in the end turn. Unless, of course, they still think that my general is, like, too large or too scary. Alright. One more turn, and then this guy is going to get a move on. Sardis has expanded. No farms first. My Comedia is also done. There's no culture penalty here. Alright, let's build that port. It's going to significantly increase the amount of stuff that we can trade. Mazaka. Build that academy. Then this. Oh yeah, I already checked all of that. That still has the plague. That's still busy building. Building, building. Yeah, the city can expand again. <laughs> Lots of people that want to live here for some reason. and this, But there's barely anything. This is a very large Zoroastrian temple so that everybody's just going to stay chill. <laughs> so yeah, four turns, then it's expanded again, and then we probably have to focus on public order again. Alright, and then that battle we have to fight in a second. Cardonia can't do anything. A whole bunch of Macedonian ships, but they don't contain any units. Okay, spy. None shall see me. None shall see me. Out of moves, sire. Royal pikemen, awesome temple of Artemis. Macedonian cavalry, a whole bunch of phalanx pikemen. What does this army even look like? I didn't even really check. Oh, they also have one unit of royal pikemen. A bunch of mercenaries, Greek cavalry twice, light lancers twice. One, two, three, four, five phalanx pikemen, one royal pikemen, one militia uh, militia pikemen, or militia phalanx, militia hoplites. That's the word. <laughs> I call them everything except the correct one. One archer, one peltast, the general, of course. And then some mercenaries, Bastane mercenaries, Barbarian mercenaries, and uh, those uh, Illyrian uh, skirmisher mercenaries, or whatever they're called. Oh, they're just called Illyrian mercenaries, okay. Nope. I know all the names. <laughs> and then, of course, a general with uh, Macedonian cavalry. And here is some damaged Macedonian cavalry and some onagers. And then there is this family member coming over with a whole bunch of phalanx pikemen and some damaged Greek cavalry. And there are no spies here, so I can't check that. Okay, well, let's fight that in a second. Uh, Y'all, well, yeah, we'll probably fight that now because I can't really do anything here anymore because I've issued all order. So, yeah, next turn, these guys have their cataphracts and they'll move out, and these guys can come in to retrain. They'll be shipped to Sparta. Yeah, okay, let's save it. And let's fight this battle against the Macedonians. I almost accidentally clicked on auto resolve. <laughs> that would have been a disaster. I didn't really. Oh, I forgot to check the traits of the general. Oh, crap. Yeah, now it's foggy. That's not what I wanted. Right, well, they only have one unit that can attack me from a far away, the archer unit. 
They have one unit of normal archers, but that's it. The rest is just skirmishers. And cavalry, of course. Alright, let's go. I have a bit of a lack of melee calf because I only have my general. And, of course, the Persian cavalry, but I prefer to use them as uh, range units first before I start uh, using them normally. So here are the Royal Pikemen, a unit that only Mastodon can make. And it is their most elite phalanx unit. I'll send in the general as well because they want to come over and my general can quite easily handle them if though he is heavily outnumbered but he's like 10 times better than any of these guys There we go. See, Greek cavalry isn't anything special. They are better than, you know, Aquitaine and shit, but they're still not fantastic. Oh, my Persian cavalry can fire. Alright, so I have to pay attention to that. There are the archers. Are you going to allow me to chase your archers all the way to that side? Almost. Oh, yeah. Saw that. <laughs> Completely destroyed. There we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. Archers. What's the eye the ballistas are back there? Actually, go for the ballistas because you're being a bit of an idiot with these archers. There we go, he's captured the, uh, the the Ballista and the Archers at the same time. Okay, come on, get the archers. There's only one ballista guy left. As all the guys are staying out of range of my archers. Which is kind of nice because they can recover their fatigue a bit. Neuro gonna start shooting at this guy now. Seventeen remaining. Just 
So why why is it so? Oh, you're doing this again. Okay. Okay, so what the fucking say? Did these guys really not break? But they did in the end. But it got pretty close. I was actually expecting them to break a bit earlier than that. Okay, you need to... Yeah, rest and you need to make your way over here. So that's a bit... That sucks a bit. Oh, hang on. Fucking morons! Stop doing that! Yeah, he is. Yeah, he's winded only, so. He's got way more stamina than we do. And because of friendly fire, we're now absolutely shooting each other all the time. Why do you insist on stopping all the fucking time? Look at how slow they're moving as well. Well, the other guys are at least getting a move on a bit. I know you're very tired, but this is ridiculous. Fucking hell. There we go. He does not stand, but runs away. Is there any point in killing him? Kill him. He must not escape. There we go. Fucking cowards. Okay, well, everybody's super tired. And either they are... Re ...reforming or they're trying to leave. Since I have a lot of experience with enemies running away from me, I'm just going to assume that they're gonna leave and I'm going to move in my horse arch as fast as possible. Oh, no, never mind. They are actually reforming. In that case, we have a time to rest. Yeah, they're actually not running away. General's windows. Killed 61% of the army. Okay, so let's have a look. What the, they are camping near the border. <laughs> there the, the battle line. <laughs> okay. Their soft belly is their left flank because they just have the Peltas on the outer left flank and then the Bastarne here, which are mostly good against infantry but not so much against cavalry. Alright, the Persian Cav is winded. 
horse archers are getting only one guy's tired still but the, the rest is warmed up or winded Stop here and rest. Okay, they're moving in their pelt tusks, so let's chase them and get rid of them. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Alright, so that is all their missile units dealt with. Well, no, that's not true, because they have those Elidian mercenaries still. Okay, so they have one more... Hey, leveled up. The, they have one more missile unit left, the Elidian mercenaries. Over there. And then a couple of those other mercenary guys, and then it's just the phalanx left. There we go. Alright, you all should be fresh. Yep, there we go. Fire at will, and move here. How are they doing? General. There we go, these guys are a very good target because, as you can see, they're practically naked, so you can very easily kill them with archers. So that's why they also seem to be exhausted, and they don't really get out of the way pretty, very quickly at all. Okay, Bastarne are running. Focus there, please. There we go. Bastarne are gone. Definitely focus on these royal pikemen. Oh, their standard bearer dies. Okay, the Persian cavalry is out of ammo. Royal pikemen are already shaken. Wavering. There we go, royal pikemen. Are gone. Oh, they're gonna try to run away. Charge the barbarian mercenaries. Why the hell are can they? I was about to say, why the hell are you going in phalanx? There we go. There we go! <laughs> They're cheering over here. There we go! Run them all down! He's fire! He's going to hit our own men if you keep doing this.
There we go, just that guy. What's she doing over there? There we go. The enemy are crushed. Another heroic victory. Would you look at that? <laughs> if you look at those numbers, though. <laughs> I numbered more than two to one, and I only lost... Well, they only killed 23 of my men. Lost a bit more, but... I killed 3,013. Only 38 of this guy of the army remains, and they lost their faction air. There we go. Return to here because now you can retrain everything. There we go. Artaxerxes versus Alexander of Naulukos, who died in this battle. Alright, so do you have any good traits because of this, maybe? Well, he's financially irregular. <laughs> Well, there we go. He does actually have some positive management, but that might be because of, uh, yeah, mathematician, librarian. He has some good, and a tutor, yeah, I was about to say. And the HRT. The only reason why he has any management is because he has other people to do it for him. <laughs> he's, but he's a better general. He prefers to be on the battlefield rather than in the, uh, in the governor's house. He's also corrupt. But he is a good general. Skilled cavalry commander, untouched by fear, social drinker, draughtsman, bloody, victor, superior attacker, superior commander. I use flaccid, I remember that. <laughs> so anyway, that is a huge full stack of Mastodon that is just completely gone now. So they are going to feel that. So let's save after we did that, and then we are going to do another little trick over here. Aye, my lord. To Go away. The sea is yours, great lord. Aye, my lord. There we go. Sire, and the faction... Ooh. First cohort. Under siege, A first cohort. And the faction leader, the new faction leader, the, the fourth faction leader that I am go going to kill, possibly. Wow! He is not a general. That is clear. He is a, he is a managing uh, faction leader. He prefers to sit... He, he actually does prefer to sit in, the, in a palace somewhere, and do taxes and all that kind of crap, and he prefers to let someone else deal with the battles. And he's very mean, apparently. But yeah, this is my fourth... Uh, skip the I faction leader. I've already killed three. And this is their capital as well. So let's save. And let's make the assaults right away because we have elephants. And they just have a wooden wall so I can attack them right away. Do they have any archers? Oh, that's even better. They don't even have any archers. Okay, this is going to be a slaughter for the skip the I. Well, for, it's going to be slaughtered for my men. And uh, not very good for the Skipia. And this is the very first battle for this army as well. So that's also nice that they can get some experience. And this is also my very first battle with Camel Cataphracts. worse than any camel is the enemy. Fear has unmanned them. Fear of you, oh brave warriors. Fear of you. <laughs> There we go, the very first Parthian army on Roman soil. On, it on or Italian soil, soil, but you know. O officially Carthaginian soil, because Lilibon starts out as a Carthaginian settlement, but you know what I mean. Sicily, of course, that counts as a Roman, Roman territory. Okay, all of you... Go like this, and then I just want uh, these guys in front first. So yeah, here are also the my latest addition to the Parthian army, Cataphract Camels. 
Look at these beauties. Well, actually, a lot of people don't like camels. <laughs> and But I think they're pretty cool. They can be useful sometimes. Because, yeah, the biggest reason why people prefer cavalry over camels is because cavalry is faster. And they I believe they also regain their fatigue faster as well. But uh, camels are in the you know camels are not as versatile because of that and they're mostly used only against other cavalry and not necessarily anything else but i think they're pretty they can be pretty useful and especially these cataphract camels they're pretty strong they have a combat bonus in deserts and they scare horses of course because horses are afraid of camels they can form a wedge formation they have good morale and they have a powerful charge because of course they are cataphracts Cantafrac camels are well armored camel and rider both shock cavalry. Their primary purpose is to charge into the enemy using weight and speed to cause additional disruption. The riders carry lances for the initial charge and long maces to continue fighting once in hand to hand combat. Recruited from among desert dwelling peoples, these soldiers rely on their heavy armor for protection, and their camels are equally well protected. This heavy armor also means that while they are slow to get moving, they are almost unstoppable in a full charge. Yeah, because they're shock every they have a very good charge. And you know, decent in melee. So yeah, first battle with Catafrac Camels. And there are quite some Aquites here, so that is quite nice. Alright, it does suck a bit that they have like large wooden walls. But I'm pretty sure we can still... Oh yeah, there we go. Stop. Yeah, they can hit something. There's a shrine to Jupiter in here. Alright, so we'll start in here is their eagle first. And also, oh, they also have Praetorians, they didn't even look at that. They have a Praetorian card, but here is their eagle. The sixth Skippy Eye Eagle that we're going to capture. If we win, of course. Alright, elephants. Let's get moving. Also, yeah, all, yeah, they have an Eagle cohort, and then also Praetorians, and then they have Hastati as well. Still some leftover from the Primarian era. Right, so this all one unit of Equites is almost gone. Here they have more Hastati. I hear cavalry over there. Time watch. Oh, wow, look at this. Look at all this cavalry here. This this is the this is where you send your fucking Catafrac camels to this. And they have the Praetorians again. And what have they got in the plaza? Oh, they have the board dogs on the plaza. Alright, these Hastati and Equites are almost gone. Those Hastati are getting a move on. And they also have a Scriptorium here. Only Militia Barracks. How, how are their stables in this city, actually? That's more important. Oh, they have a great forum. Nice. But I'm looking for stables. Uh, they just have a practice range. Okay. That's fine. Amphitheater. That's the second level. <laughs> They're still in the Carthaginian blacksmith here. Oh, yes. They already have a hyperdrome. Good. So I can retrain everyone. Except for the elephants. Okay, so they're all dead. Now they're shooting at these Hastati. There we go.
Gates are open. Elephants are winded because of the, the bashing of the gates, so I have to give them a bit of a rest. Have they still? Yeah, they still have this huge blob of all the cavalry in here. Uh, it sucks that the Praetorians are in here. Uh, well, the Light Auxilia don't matter, but... It sucks that the Praetorians are here. Otherwise, I would have just sent my Cataphrac Camels to deal with that. Okay, their Eagle Cohort is there. Okay. Hold. Just relax. Oh, you can fire arrows, yeah. Oh, there goes the Centurion and the uh, Signify. Cataphracts. Okay, that unit of Vastati is also almost dead. Oh, they just juked all my archers. <laughs> you sneaky bastards. And there we go. Okay, all the hostiles are dead. Over there. There are three units here. Oh, the damaged Aquates are here. And the damaged Hostati are there too, so they moved. Okay. Okay, so... Okay, I am actually going to send in the camels first. I'm going to move them here. Oh, a bit further. Here. There we go. Camels, go. Because, if anything, the very first thing that comes, that we come in contact with is cavalry. So, you know, might as well immediately counter them with camels. Cataphract camels. Look at them. They look so weird as well. I think that adds to, to, to the creepy factor because, you know, you're you used to horses and these things like kind of look like horses in some way, but you know, they look totally different at the same way at the same time too. Your men have taken the walls. Now the way to your victory is clear. So yeah, maybe that adds to the, this creepy factor. Although, I believe the main reason why horses don't like camels is because of the smell. Camels have like a certain smell that the horses are... Like, that puts them on edge or something. Okay, the eagle card doesn't show any sign of moving just yet. Okay, there are some equities this coming this way. And the Roman cavalry too. Or well, well they're moving at least. And doesn't doesn't automatically mean that they're actually coming over this way. Camels have almost all made it. Except for that one who's stuck behind an elephant. Okay, they're not really coming over, they're just moving, okay? Elephants, stop. Move like this. Move in the general. Oh, there we go. Well, say goodbye to your Aquatase, because we can defeat them normally anyway, but now it's just complete DG. Against cataphract camels. Uh, you guys don't fire it, Will. Same with all of you. Don't fire it, Will. Yeah, frightened by camels. Okay. Fight the Roman cavalry. The Zekwadeis tried to run through, so that's just mean that they're all gonna die. Okay, 
Oh, what the hell? More Roman cavalry. My cataphracts can deal with that. And they're sending in Town Watch there. Elephants, get in. There we go. Right, oh, stop, 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 stop. Uh, both of you, please. But the annoying thing is also I need to be bring the camels all the way back to Carthage if I want to retrain them. Alright, elephants. Show me what you can do. Frightened of elephants, wavering. Yeah, again, they can't charge properly because they're in a city and light infantry with spears. That's the best way to kill elephants. Or, of course, use a fuck ton of missiles. So, no surprise that this elephant died so early. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't do the Rome 2 technique where you just talk, where you just tell them to move through and they automatically trample anyone that, you know, that they move uh, through. Because in this game, they don't really trample. They just move them aside and they, then the guys stand up again. There we go. <laughs> Why couldn't you do this before? Oh, we're being shot somewhere. Oh, crap. Yeah, that's Cavalry Auxilia. Ah, that sucks. They did a lot of damage. Okay, camels. Hello? There we go, thanks. Alright, what's that? That looks like cavalry, yeah. It's some more Roman cavalry. Alright, well, elephants, please get rid of them. Of course, elephants are also very good to use against cavalry because horses don't like elephants either. There we go. Nice. And my general is being shot because the fucking ca light auxilia are back. Cavalry auxilia. Okay, you know what? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Got a fucking better idea. They want to, they want a skirmisher battle? Fine, they can get a skirmisher battle. Something else coming over. Oh, the Praetorians. Alright, and the Eagle cohort as well. Yeah, move as fast as possible, because otherwise you're gonna get shot by that tower. You're already being shot, but you know. It'll be worse then if you take a longer time. Yeah, they got the Thor Spears, that really sucks. They're exhausted already. Yeah, oh, this sucks. Please don't... Rouse, okay.
Again, we can retrain them in Carthage, so it's it's okay if we take some damage. Okay, they got they got rid of all of that, so that's nice. Shaken, okay, good. Wavering, come on. Elephants and cataphracts, yeah, there we go. Cataphrax, run down the Praetorians, and then join the elephants in getting rid of the eagle cohort. There we go. Okay. That is Light Auxilia. We can get rid of that. Then there are Velites, and there is the General. We can't really very easily get rid of a lot of their units, so... But by, by with, with archers, unless he decides to move here. Which would be awesome, but I doubt that he's going to. Oh, hang on, General. Okay, there we go. The Eagle Cohort is defeated. Oh, hang on. Okay, never mind. The general is not charging me. Oh, there. Okay, now he is. You guys are out of ammo. So move you back. They are not out of ammo yet. Oh, but I'm, I'm going to tell them to stop, though, because we're going to fight them in end to end. Oh, no, 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 no. I thought I still had them selected. Uh, did you guys charge through that uh, fucking thing? Oh yeah, get those Velites and then just work your way around and attack them from, the from behind. Yeah, in theory we should have an advantage against their units because we have camels and they have uh, horses. But because the Roman general is just so ridiculously overpowered, it doesn't really matter, and they, I, my uh, camels get destroyed anyway. I really hope that my general doesn't die, though. I don't know where he is. Oh, yeah! Wow! Wow. But will this bring victory? Or cause your men to turn and run? This was such a good general. Uh, he had a lot of potential, and then he just dies. Fantastic. And then I have to do this entire fucking battle all over again. Yeah, and then they all run. Okay, fuck off. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a good thing I saved. Alright, well, it is still very easily able to, or so easily able to win, but I couldn't really get any, like, damage in on that general, and he ch attacked my general right away. And of course, because the Roman general, the, 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 the armored Roman general has, like, 5 trillion hit points, because he is by far the most overpowered uh, general's bodyguard unit in the entire game, uh, the fact that I was attacking him with my cataphracts and cataphract camels just didn't matter, because, you know, when you have, when you are so overpowered, like, it doesn't matter what attacks you. So, yeah, preferably I uh, need to hit him a bit more with the horse archers. But we'll do that in the next episode because I've already been recording for an hour. So I hope you Romans enjoyed it. Click the like button if you did. Subscribe to join the Roman army and I'll see you in the next one. See you later, Romans. Walete.